What is up you gear loving hooligans? Welcome back to JBHQ. Today, I want to talk to you about this sweet, sweet pack right here. This is the GoPack 2. Alright, to start off, one of the reasons why I chose this pack is because it is aesthetically pleasing and I am a firm believer of feel good, look good. I love this thing, how it looks, and so it's my daily driver. This bad boy has 9 pockets, 14 liters of carrying capacity, and weighs 2.5 pounds raw. If you're a dimensions type of fella, it's 18 by 12 by 5, and that's length, width, depth. This bag sports a different material than your typical cloth fabric, or what normal backpacks use. It comes equipped with a 1680 denier Cordura ballistic nylon exterior. Air really paid attention to details on this thing, and it's very apparent. The zipper pull tabs on this thing feel really good, and there's a top access pouch that utilizes YKK zipper technology. Really all this means is that when the zipper on the top axis pouch lays flat, it's a self-locking mechanism. I gotta talk to you about the padded laptop sleeve that comes with a suspended soft lining and that fits up to a 16 inch laptop. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why I love this backpack. That and that it has a 14 liter carrying capacity. You see, I have bought backpacks that I thought would work for me and my carrying style, but then I would have to return it because my 15 inch MacBook Pro would not fit in the pouch. Another thing is I really like how the laptop sleeve is suspended so that when you're putting your bag down, you don't hit the laptop first. You know, there are even a couple stash pockets on the interior of the bag. And yes, I went the extra mile for you folk back home and I turned the bag inside out. There's pretty much no good way to get good lighting inside the bag, which is, um, which is now on the outside. The third type of stash pocket is a zipper pocket immediately on the exterior of the laptop sleeve. But I don't put anything that isn't flat in this pocket because if I do, it makes my books and everything like cattywampus when the bag is on my back. Yes, I did just use cattywampus. The other feature on this bag that I really like is the stash pocket in the front of the bag. I use the stash pocket for on the go things or things that I need to stow really fast or stash. Stash pockets are a feature of day packs and backpacks that when I'm out hiking and backpacking that I really like for gear like jackets and loose clothes that I want on the outside of my pack so that they can dry. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, you can go check out my review on the Scarab 30 and it'll kind of show you what I mean by the outside stash pocket. This bag also has this really cool magnetic clasp right here that automatically shuts closed when you let it collapse. All in all, a stash pocket on the front of your everyday carry bag is just phenomenal for like hats, lunches, water bottles, things that you just need to put in your bag real fast, organize later, and just get the heck out of where you are. This bag is relatively simple and a straightforward design. It has two water bottle pockets that are flesh in line with the stash pocket. One major benefit of these side pockets is that they're large enough to store things like a tech pouch. You can also store full-size Yetis or Hydro Flasks or whatever water bottle of choice that you want to fit. You can even throw in a Nalgene if you're too crazy. Just get silly with it. All right, let's get into the pros and cons. I'm gonna get these bad boys through rapid style. I've kind of alluded to it, but I love the size of the pocket, the suspended laptop sleeve, the material itself, the large stash pocket, the easy access top zipper pocket that's large enough for a Kindle, mind you. Almost as if it's meant for a Kindle, but I store glasses in here. And the largest heck side pockets for water bottles and other things like tech pouches. Cons. So when you're making use of the large side pockets and you have stuff all the way stuffed um, and the bag is zipped, sometimes you can lose the zippers. So it would have been nice if the zippers were just a little bit taller, but I'm not sure how they would have done this, so I just go ahead and dig for the zippers. Additionally, this is a really simple travel bag that's not really meant for an everyday carry. It's called the Go Pack 2, and they even boast it fitting into their other luggage style backpacks. For whenever you get to your destination, you can use it as your day pack. It's a small, lightweight bag, and because of so, there's not a whole lot of places where you can put your tech gear. Hence, the reason why I bought a tech pouch. If you include the tech pouch as part of the bag, it brings the overall cost of the bag a little bit more. But, I really like the ability of having a tech pouch because then I can pull all my stuff out and just leave it on the desk. If you like tech pouches, this is not a con. Like myself, I like tech pouches. This is not a con. But, if you don't want to have to buy extra things, then this may not be the bag for you because there's a limit to pockets. Or you're just going to have to shove all your stuff into the pockets and deal with the consequences. Speaking of the tech pouch, I did a video review on the tech pouch. And if you like the tech pouch, then you could go check it out on my channel and you'll see something about the tech pouch. Well, that is all I have to say on the subject matter. It's a clean, simple, amazing bag. I highly recommend it. I'm very happy with it. I've been using it for about like half a year now. I have no qualms with it. So. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.